Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's snow on the ground. Snow is happening. You can kind of see it. So over there, it looks like grass, and then over here, you can kind of see the snow. It's I know. snow, yep. There's snow in the air. There's snow in the air. I don't think you guys can see it though. It's just barely coming down. Flurries. Good right, uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today's Thursday. Minus two days till lockdown. I heard it. We're going back into lockdown. We're going back and into. Easter's in three days. Yeah, we're going into deep lockdown. No, not even five people allowed at your house. So good at morning. Welcome to today. So frustrating. It's okay though. We're gonna make the best of it. I have some ideas. I have some plans. I have some fun things that I want us to do during this lockdown. It's gonna last for four weeks. Oh, let's get ready for show season. Show season, and then after four weeks of lockdown. So I don't know how that's gonna work, but we're gonna make the best of it because that's what you do. Here, Penny Pickle. There you go. Oh my goodness. Today we have a tax store shopping on the agenda. I have to get something for Easter for one of the girls. Wait till you see. We were there the other day, and Tim said we don't have room in the car for shavings. And I said, we have to get shavings. Oh, we have lots, he said. I said, yeah, it's not gonna last. It didn't last. Anyways, welcome to today. Four weeks, you guys, are being locked down for four weeks. And I know most of the world is not being locked down. Lots of people are coming out of lockdown. And I know like in Australia and maybe New Zealand, some people are just going back into it. It's never gonna end, it feels like. What the heck is that? Did you brush this off her? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was wondering because it looked like, like there was a horse fight. I also, I also saw Penny over here the other day scratching on this gate. I also noticed her scratching over here. It's scratchy season, you guys. It's the season when all the hair's got to come out. Sophie, what are you doing? Making the bed. So during the lockout, lockdown, I said to, I told Sophie, we're going to do a bunch of challenges. Uh, or we're going to do a bunch of 24 hour challenges. And I told her one of them is going to be that 24 hours in the tack room and you're going to have to, we're going to clean the tack room. You're going to be responsible for finding and making your own bed. And she automatically I really came like up. This I like it too. She automatically came up with this idea. Oh, she's sleeping in a sled. There's a sled under there. She's going to sleep on top of all of her saddle pads. Now is that spot gonna be warm and draft free? That's why I built on top of the sled, so I can oh. move it. Oh, good idea. So this is it, you guys. This is Sophie's I'm thing. Sophie's bed for the 24 hour challenge. But when we actually make the video, <laughs> I think we'll maybe plan better. Oh, this is comfy. <laughs> oh, I can on I personally am thinking about over here, although that door is really drafty, but I'm thinking about making a bed over here. <laughs> it's, it's nice over here. But today we shoot that video, we will clean up the barn first. We'll have an opportunity to clean the barn. <laughs> Gabby's checking my messages. She opened it with her nose. Oh, well, can you tell me what it says, please? What is it? Hey, Laura, sorry to ask this. But I know you have two warm stalls and I have some lovely horses that need them desperately. You only have one. These are good pictures of them. They look way worse. They are in need of a warm place to land and some good food to help put some weight on. They are already on the trailer. Wait, where? They are already on the trailer. Headed your way and will arrive within the hour. Unless you can't take them, then I guess I'll have to reroute them elsewhere. April Fools. <laughs> Let me know I'll if they them. can land there ASAP. So he's like, I'll take them. All right, so I was trying to be inconspicuous and not video. So I had the camera on and facing it to the ground. But Fiona sent me this, this video this morning that okay. sent me this message just now. And I had Gabby open it. And it was of these two horses, a bay and a gray. And then she sent me this whole message that I just read to you about how they need help. And because we have extra stalls. I didn't even let you get to the bottom. I don't know. Like, uh, that's so rude. Like, let me have one good April Fool's Day. Okay, so here's the question. Would you take them? <gasps> we should prank Dad. Oh, we will. He'll probably get it. Depends on which one moves better. 
Defense. So you would pick the one that moves better? I choose the Did gray. you see the pictures? I would choose the gray. Well, I thought I Gabby would choose the bay. Chestnut. Is it chestnut or bay? Oh, I didn't bay. really notice. Yeah, it looks bay. See the black? It's bay. All right, so you would have been game? Would we have been getting horses in a half an hour? I would have been game. You, would you have been game? <laughs> yeah, me too. I want to rescue animals. I uh, know. To be honest. It's weird that you wanted me to check your message. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was hard. It's hard. It's hard to fool my kids. They're so so, so let's, uh, text, let's call dad and send him this and message. how did you even know that there was going to be a text message? <laughs> Did my best, you guys. Like I am no, I'm no. Yeah, I, they they got my game, but oh, I will so get them one day. It? I'm a, yeah. And Sophie was on her phone all morning, and I'm like, Sophie, get off your phone. And she's like, Oh, Cabby, only four more days till Storm's birthday. And I'm like, Get off your phone. <laughs> I'm sending Sam the message, and then I'm gonna say, We're getting stalls ready. Mom always hides her texts from me. I'm like always confused. Gabby, try it. From book. Fiona. No, said, said, say that we can only get one. Because we only have one stall. Oh, we can we can move things around. No. We're getting stalls ready. Okay. So I sent a message to Sam. I said like, I s copied and pasted Fiona's message to me. And I'm waiting for the phone to ring basically. And I said, whoa. Molly just, whoa, <laughs> the dog has the worst. I don't know if this one's okay. Hug her and kiss her. It's okay. <laughs> she just ran by, jumped over top of Molly, like flew through the air like a perfect fin jump. And then she ran back again. I tried to video it and <laughs> straight into a stall. This is what she does. Like, she's a, she's and a, she begs for love after. And then she begs for love after. It's okay. You're okay. All right, April Fools, I got it. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's try and pull it on here. Hold this. Too many details. Too many details? Way too many. It makes people suspicious of just how much she typed. It's not April Fools. I mean, it might be April Fools Day, but it's not an April Fools thing. She had a friend that messaged her a couple of days ago and said that she had two horses. Do you guys remember that? Mm -hmm. She had two horses that she wanted Fiona to take, and Fiona was like, trying to figure out if she was gonna take them. Anyway, she says it's just for a really short time. Like she needs to get things fixed up at her house. She's not as ready just to figure out what she's gonna do. But they just need some place to land. Yeah, well, our place is not a good place to land. Well, we have like big fields. Yeah. Sam, you can't just turn your back on horses that need rescuing. <laughs> no, you know we're not gonna say no. Sophie's already named them. I'm not dealing with bubble gum and jelly bean. <laughs> bubble gum and jelly bean. <laughs> Gabby wants to name them bubble gum no, and jelly Sophia's bean. Sophia's name. Sophia's names. Bubble gum and jelly bean. Yeah, for Easter. It's an Easter miracle. It's an Easter surprise. I know. Well, we can't just turn our back on them, Sam. They need us. Turn your back. I don't want. Them. We do have room. No, we don't. We have more room than she does. Don't be surprised if you come home to two extra horses. All right, well, I'll keep you updated, okay? Okay, bye. bye. Happy F April Fool's Day. Yeah, it's April Fool's for sure. I know, okay, bye. I don't know if he still believes me or not. <laughs> I think I convinced him that it's happening, and then when I say it's April Fool's Day, I don't know if he got it. So the weird thing about Sam is that he He's always says no. Convinced. He's half He's convinced. Still yeah, he, the thing with Sam is that he always says no to everything. Hey Sam, I want to go, no. Hey Sam, let's, no. Like he always says no before he even listens to what I want. But then after like, he takes a couple hours to think about it, and then I approach it again, then he's always like, fine. But yeah, I feel it, you guys. I feel one day that there will be a rescue horse in our in our journey, a horse that we can love from the ground up and... Okay, Daisy loves her rock. Yeah. Today is not that day. We are not ready and we have a lot on our plate. We are ready. We're not ready. And the reason we're not ready is because we have horses that we ask a lot of. We don't, like, one day when we have retired horses sitting in a field just living life till the end of their life, that's, I think, when the time is right. But right now our horses are all in work mostly and it's a busy life. It's a busy time for us. 
Anyway, welcome to today's video. Let's get this day started. We're gonna do chores and then we'll catch up with you in a few minutes. So I'm behind on sharing mail with you guys, but recently we got a letter from Astrid, who is also the owner of underscore day by day blogs dot edits with a Z. Thank you so much, Astrid for your beautiful letter. So we also got a letter from Cameron who owns at fancy.beads with a Z on Instagram. I'm gonna go follow her. She sent the girls these little envelopes. Uh, Gabby's is red and it's already missing because Gabby is wearing it. We got it yesterday and she's already wearing it. But Sophie got this little necklace with a little blue and white horse on it. Super adorable. What was Gabby's? Uh, it was the same, just red mane and tail. Just red mane and tail? Oh, super cute. So thank you so much, Cameron, for that. Follow her on Instagram. We are going to, and then we can see what else she makes. She has her own little shop. The Easter, guys. It is a blizzard out there. Can you guys see? Oh, probably can't see, but there's snow everywhere. It is a great blizzard. The blizzard? The Easter blizzard of 2021. But actually, in Canada, it can snow all the way into May, the beginning of May. Lots of times we have snow at the beginning of May. So yeah, we're having winter. We also have lessons. We also have a ton of things that we have to get done. So come on girls, hurry up. Gabby won $30 gift card at the show. And this mm -hmm. is what she's getting. Oh, super bands. Black? Mm -hmm. We can get more than that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for some oil for the boys. Oh, that's adorable. Four. To carry hay bales? Yeah. Dad does need that. Seems kind of gimmicky. We've got something for Sophie for Easter oh that she is so excited about. I can't wait to show you guys on Easter morning. You're going to be shocked at what happened. Like, you guys are getting closer and closer in size. I'm also wearing tall shoes, though. Yeah, but she's wearing, wearing short shoes. Just wait, are you excited about what you just got? Something that Sophie doesn't I'm have. Take off one of your shoes. Oh my god, we're in the store and they have to see who's taller. No, lean on that one foot that's got that shoe on. Oh, like you guys are getting closer and closer. Okay, so Gabby, you have to spend $30. What are you getting? I like these treat balls. I think Gabby should get a new braiding kit because we lose those. She might get a new halter. She's $30 to spend. I like this one. It's funny. Yeah, that's cute. They also have this whole section of puppy stuff. Dog stuff. Yeah, I want to get these as toys. They would rip that apart in five oh, minutes. I think did. we had it before. I almost forgot, but I have to get dewormer for the girls. Gabby, what'd you buy with your $30 gift card from the show? I bought spurs. She bought smaller spurs. Why'd you buy those ones? Because I needed smaller ones. So anyway, she has in the past bought... She's got a couple pairs of straps. So also, I bought this Campresco oil. Campresco oil, this is the oil that our vet really believes in. He actually said there's another one that we could get too, but you have to order it online. This is like an omega fatty acid supplement. He says it's really good for horses with allergy issues. I'm probably gonna give it to all of our boys, to be honest. I also ordered, I also got six shavings. I'm gonna get those now, but you guys should know, I needed to get something for Sophie for Easter. And what she ended up getting is something exciting. I th I feel it's exciting. I feel like it's a rite of passage. I think it's I love it. something that you get when you get to a certain stage of riding or a certain level of riding. And so anyway, she got that and you guys are gonna see it on Easter. Comment below what you guys think Sophie's getting for Easter that is something special. Oh, it is cold and windy. Oh, I got these new shoes a few weeks ago. Anyway, what I was saying is I bought these little shoes. Well, and Jen has those. Yeah, who has them? Jen. Jen has them? Got them at Canadian Tire, which is which is like an automotive store. It has everything. Kind of like a hardware store. And they're kind of made out of they're similar to like a croc material. Oh, they're so nice. I love them. They're keeping my feet so warm. And the dirt just washes off them. Like you just brush them. See that? And the dirt just comes off which is super cool and they're actually super comfortable and I like them because they look like little sneakers but they're adorable I love them I also got Sophie a pair and she hates them so I might get those too are you gonna wear your sneakers like this Sophie no yeah I got two pairs all right it's time to catch the ponies do you have treats everybody should have treats in their pocket Gabby's got a sandwich in her hand that might not go over well not a horse in sight Gabby's got the best path through the mud. 
So we follow Gabby. Oh, there's Tino. Oh, hi, handsome. Come for a treat. Stop and see if he'll come to you. Come on. Put your hand out like you got a treat. Show him your sandwich. <laughs> Show him. Come on. <laughs> He's, he's like, can I get out? Do I have enough time? Good boy. Look at how cute he is. He is such a cute, handsome man. Even with his mismatched bell boots. So Gabby's not riding him today because she has to, so she has a lesson tomorrow too and she's riding him. Are you cold or are you warm? He seems warm. It's gonna be like a couple of days of up and down temperature. All the snow's gone now. Oh, it was successful. We got ourselves two ponies. You Chino know, looks kind of sad. You know how I, you know how I caught him? How? I held out the mint so he could see it. I will gladly eat this. I will gladly eat your mint for you. So you teased him? Said yeah. if you don't come? Oh, Stormy so looks. Snow. Let me catch him. Sermon looks like, oh man, I should have ran. <laughs> I feel like our trainers are in uh, training mode. Like they want to train the girls and help them get ready for show season. But we have three horses and I told Gabby if she just wants lessons on Chino because her and Storm have gotten good at knowing how to ride each other, she can do that and just ride Storm on her own when we come. And she said, no, she wants to continue alternating lessons and having lessons on storm too so that's what she wants to do that's what we're going to do because for us it has to be about the love of riding if that makes sense like it's really hard to explain but she wants to love her horses and spend time with both of them and doing what she loves and so that's what she's going to do okay what's the tip so if it's like really muddy oh wait so if it's like really muddy out in the field yeah. and your horse hates mud, yeah. like going through mud, then um, let your horse walk through their own path. So I, like they, they choose the less muddy as well. Yeah, he knows what way to go. So apparently with the new regulations, lessons aren't canceled. Even like outdoor lessons, like soccer and stuff like that, they're still all going on. So hopefully we'll still be able to have lessons and practice for Trillium. First show of Trillium is in May. I'm loving the fins, Maine. Ask Gabby. Ask Gabby. <laughs> oh, sweet Lord God. <laughs> so, you may be wondering why you're coaching Storm, and it's because she doesn't want to, like, I told her, why don't you just have lessons on Chino, because this is Chino's year. Yeah. And then we'll just ride Storm on the other day that we come every week. And she said, it's not fair. Like, <laughs> she loves him, and she, she said she still needs lessons on him. Fair. So, we're just going to alternate and turn, move around, and when it gets closer to Trillium. <laughs> Gabby, Fiona wants to know what the heck happened to Finn's mane. <laughs> <Gabby. laughs> I did it. Why? Why? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I cut it now because I suck at cutting mane so it could grow back. But her horses look gorgeous. Look at Storm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, he doesn't. Not his mane. That's a pony mane right there. Yeah. Did, did you notice that Bridal Path has the new struck breeches with rose gold? Is that what color they are? Rose gold? They, no, she just posted the... You know how her stripes are mint right now? Yeah. The stripes are rose gold on black, like her helmet. Oh, rose gold on black. At Bridal we were, Path, we were they, just there today. They put a thing, a post up, that they have those, the black, but the stripes are rose gold. These? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'll see She wants you. black breeches. Hi. All right, so that was a very eventful lesson. What you guys didn't see was that Sophie was really nervous about the vertical. So Sophie, we got you over the vertical and how did you find it? You wanna know that my, what my one question was? What? Can I do it again? Yeah, so, so that's the thing. Like, 
keep taking her around. So they get so worked up, so, so worked up, you guys, to the point where she doubts herself. And you guys know what it's like. We all do it, not necessarily in riding, but we all do it in life. And she gets doubting herself and doubting herself. And then she panics, and then we have to talk her down. And then finally she gets over it. And what happens every time you get over it? I'm on to again. Yeah, so now she has a lesson tomorrow with Brandon, so hopefully she can- If he's like doing the jumps very badly, yeah. Then I'm not doing it. Yes, so Fiona yeah. told her, if you just watch, thing. and if he's doing well, then you know you can do it. Do you see how loose of a rain I could do? Yeah, I know, we're Until very Until we started cantering, and then Fiona's like, ooh, yay. Yeah, like there's nothing wrong with Finn. This is all, this whole journey is about Sophie learning and Finn. And Finn down. Yeah, it's, it's you learning Finn. He, he's an yeah, awesome, Look how cute awesome his face boy. is. Look how cute his face is. Yeah. And he has like the piping stuff. And I always knew that you would learn Finn, Sophie. I love Finn. I knew you would learn Finn. You can hear me tell Fiona, I love my horse. And I think that you are the best rider for Finn. Yeah. All right, hurry up, go cool them out because I'm ready to go home. I'm I have to go get their medicine ready. Yeah. My hands are dirty, I hate it. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way